The document discusses how government contractors are targeting mind control victims' faith and belief systems in churches to disrupt their ability to worship or build a support network. It also highlights the failure of CIATIA mind control technologies against born again Christians and discusses the tactics and technology used by the perpetrators, as well as the role of the seven deadly sins in their manipulation techniques. The document also mentions the infiltration of megachurches by government contractors and describes the specific methods used to manipulate and control the victim's thoughts and behavior. Finally, it explains the use of technology to transmit signals to the victim's minds in real time. Government contractors targeting mind control victims' faith and belief system in churches to disrupt the victim's ability, writing by Brian T. to worship or build a support network. This picture of a informant provocateur perpetrator who kept turning around, staring at me over and over in a looping pattern to disrupt my continuity of thought and erase active memory to minimize the cognitive effect of the Christian content. This happened in Israel and every church in every country I have visited, including here in USA. Of all the religions, only Christians and only Christianity can successfully defend against C I A D A mind control technologies, per Dr. Robert Duncan, PhD, CIA AMP, U.S. Department of Defense. The active faith of true Christians acts as a mental shield against C I A mind control technologies. The probability ratios of their technology is repeatedly failing against one category of people. It is repeatedly failing against what they call the Jesus freaks, meaning those born-again Christians whose active faith is based on a pure gospel, sound Bible-based doctrine of Jesus Christ. Christian content not only breaks brain entrainment with their RNM system of remote neural networks, but it depatterns or deconstructs their ability to rewire the victim's memory and thought process. CIADA contractors have no choice but to torture and kill true Christians because their mind control technology is failing across the board against this small subcategory of the public, meaning the reborn from above child of God in Christ Jesus. They manipulate people using the seven deadly sins. And if you can purify yourself spiritually in Christ, then they have no levers left with which to control you, per Dr. Robert Duncan, Ph.D., CIA and U.S., Department of Defense. The seven deadly sins in the Bible are known as capital vices, or cardinal sins, because it is from the seven deadly sins that all other sins arise out of. Immoral behaviors or habits fall under these seven categories because they are the main sins that give rise to all other immoralities. They are pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, and sloth. CIADEA contractors target people with the seven deadly sins to learn how to achieve direct behavioral control over the masses. Why? Because the faith and belief system of religious groups a spec I ally born again Christians is an important metric for CIA DIA training research and development in artificial superintelligence technologies. Most of the mega churches in America are infiltrated by deep state contractors masquerading as Christians for this same reason. CIA DIA government perpetrators are using a fabricated or falsified stream of electromagnetic low frequency waves specifically tuned to your brainwave signature interfacing with the nanotechnology in your brain to speak to and decode the neurotransmitters in your mind in order to collect and catalog your memories. Interpret those memories, remote neural monitoring, and interfere with your memory and thought process, remote neural manipulation. Once you become dependent, Ari, you believe their mental suggestions and impulse injections, emotions are your own on the RNM system's output, which could be a specific memory attack using a forced speech, sequence, directed energy attack, etc., 
or they believe your responses to those fabricated and falsified mental suggestions and emotions are consistent, they will begin to fabricate additional subconscious responses which they will pretend are indicators of honesty, dishonesty, positive recognition, anxiety, etc. And they will use these impulse injections, emotions, to convince you that the fabricated responses are your own. If you are unaware of this constant mental manipulation, the system will begin to shape your thoughts and behavior. They will use this to attempt to restrict your thoughts and behavior by blocking, interfering with your memory and thought process. While these mental suggestions, injected impulses, are being provided, the interference is triggered and can be activated at will by the attackers. These mental suggestions happen hundreds of times a day. A computer multiplexer routes the signal to a tower, satellite or mobile platform, and the tower satellite or mobile platform relays the signal to the digital receiver, similar to how cell phone technology works. The digital receiver is tracked and pinpointed in real time just like a cell phone, except with CIA, DIA, trauma-based mind control technology, the digital receiver is not a phone. It's a human mind. 